Welcome to the Epic McLaren 720S Spider. This is essentially the flagship series production convertible McLaren at the moment. It sits in the Super Series section of the showroom, only topped by the Ultimate Series models, which are limited in production. It is, rather obviously, the convertible version of the 720S Coupe, and it's based on the same carbon fiber tub platform called the Monocage 2. The platform is stiffer and around 18 kilograms lighter than the 650S predecessor, while the Spider adds around 60 kilograms over the coupe due to additional reinforcements and the components for the electric folding roof. One of the aspects that really stands out for us is the sheer attention to detail in aerodynamics. The body is carved and slashed in so many areas, with huge intakes and outlets hiding within the smooth design. You don't really notice them as much in images, but in person, the detail is amazing. The 720S Spider features a hardtop roof, which takes around 11 seconds to open or close. With it closed, the driving refinement is quiet and cozy, just like the coupe. This test car shows off various options, including these multi-spoke wheels and yellow painted brake calipers. Composite ceramic discs come as standard. Check out the deep cutaway in the doors. This channel feeds air directly to the engine components to keep everything cool and well fed. And then at the back are a set of massive 305 30 tires. Despite being rear wheel drive, there's actually heaps of grip available. The interior is a combination of stripped back performance, yet with a light sprinkling of luxury. Most of the onboard systems are controlled via the vertical touchscreen, including variable drift settings. The graphics aren't the best in our opinion, and the screen seems to have a clouded surface over it, but it does provide sat-nav and digital radio hooked up to a standard four-speaker stereo. Storage space is limited in the cabin, with only shallow pockets and a tray hidden under the floating dash fascia. But hey, this is a supercar, not a practical-minded SUV. These seats are surprisingly forgiving and comfortable for decent journeys. Also helping with comfort is the James Bond-like tinted glass roof option. You just touch a button and the glass transforms to a cool blue tint. Boot space is pretty good for a supercar. It drops down really deep, almost to the ground, and there's even a 12 volt socket in here. As for the engine, it is a masterpiece. During testing, our V-Box returned the exact same 0 to 100 time as what we achieved in the coupe version, showing just how consistent this beast is. Off the mark acceleration is super impressive, but the top end power is truly unbelievable. This is what it goes like.